At a time when conventional retail is faltering, a big reason for the market's hideous decline lately, including today's vicious downswing, it's worth remembering that we're in the middle of a sea change in the way people shop, an enormous shift in buying habits that totally favors the Internet. And if you want to understand the real cutting edge of this trend, sometimes you just got to go off the tape and look at some smaller, fresh-faced, privately held companies that could be major game changers. So tonight, let me introduce you to Birchbox, if you don't know it already. This is an online beauty and grooming business that has reinvented not just the way we buy cosmetics, but perhaps the way we buy everything. With Birchbox, you subscribe to their service. $10 a month for women, $20 for men. You give them your personal information, and then every month they send you a box of hand-picked samples, like hair, nails, skin care, makeup products. If you like the samples, you can go on Birchbox's website to learn more about the products and buy full-size versions of them. You know, I think it's a brilliant model. Birchbox is kind of like an online Sephora, except unlike Sephora, where you go into the store and there's so much merchandise to navigate through. That it's overwhelming, although admittedly, it's uh, not my, I'm not their demographic. Birchbox holds your hand and sends you samples of exactly the kind of stuff you're likely to want. They've created a new way of shopping using the web that's easier and that demystifies the whole process. No wonder this company, which was only founded back in 2010, already has over 400,000 active subscribers around the world. So let's take a closer look at what this revolutionary business is doing with Haley Barna and Katja Beecham, Bir Birchbox's co-founders co and co-CEOs, who started the company right out of business school. Ms. Barna, Ms. Beecham, welcome to Man Money. Thank Thanks you so much for coming on. Thanks so for having excited. us. Okay, one of the things that we're at a quandary about is we know that retail's gotten bad in the country. And we see bad because we look at these comparable store numbers from the traditional retailers, and we wonder where the shoppers went. Are they going to you? Definitely some of them are coming to us. The reason we started Birchbox is because we realized that consumers were shifting more of their shopping behavior on the internet, mm -hmm. but they weren't shifting their beauty shopping behavior online. And the reason was because women want to try the products before they buy them. So what was happening online was only replenishment. What we think Birchbox has done is change that conversation. Now you can shop for beauty on the internet, buy things for the first time, but it doesn't have to be something you know. We are getting people to buy something that they just sampled, and then right. you know now they know they want it. Well, how do you how do you get paid? <laughs> so customers from both ways. We, so we have a few different revenue streams. Okay. Subscribers pay us ten dollars a month if they're women, twenty dollars mm -hmm. if they're men, because they get a little juicier right. product. Um, and then if they love something that they try, we're a retailer. We hold inventory and we sell full size versions of the products that so we hold sell. inventory. So you're different from the Amazon model. Yes, we definitely hold inventory. We want to make sure that the customer's experience is completely seamless. The other realization we had is there's so much friction between discovery and purchase. Mm -hmm. You read about something in a magazine, you fold down the piece of paper, you're meant to like go and remember to pick that up the next time right. you're in the store. We want it to be inspirational, and then right when you're reading that article, watching that video, the samples are in your bathroom, and you're ready to transact. We have your credit card, we have your address buy it from Birchbox. Okay, well, I mean, one of the things we've seen is that the malls have become big shopping centers for online. What's to keep me from saying, oh, look, I like this stuff, gentleman's brand, what I'm going to do, I've just tried it, I'm going to go to Amazon and get it. Yeah, so that's the reality of our business. Some of the products that we do sample, you can pick it up at the mall, you can pick it mm -hmm. up at Sephora, but there's a few things we do to make sure people come back to us. First, we have a ton of content. They could watch videos, read articles, mm -hmm. learn how to use them. The buy button's right there. We also have a very generous loyalty program, so they can fill out feedback surveys, refer friends, and earn points that effectively give them discounts on the products. And more and more, we have exclusives. So a few of the products that you see here, you could only buy on Birchbox.com. Okay, one of the things that I, the reason why we're doing this segment, and it's not mean, meant to be frivolous on a down 300 day, because I'm conscious of people's losses. But the idea is, is that one day, these companies might come public, and you'll, instead of telling the broker, oh, I hear Birchbox is hot, the day before it goes public and you'll get none, <laughs> is to be able to indicate to your broker well ahead. Uh, obviously, Birchbox would at some point like a, li a liquidity event, right? Mm -hmm. Sure, yeah. <laughs> and we've always said that we think that this is a really big idea, a game-changing idea from the industry. And more than ever, we see that we really do have the potential to be a standalone company. So Excellent. we're very excited that our business model has always had multiple revenue streams. We've been able to fund growth, mm -hmm. self-fund growth. Right. Um, but, you know, we all obviously recognize we are still very early in our business. Sure. No, but that's okay. You, ha you have to hit it early in order to be able to, if you're a retail customer, you can't come in late. One last question. Um, how do you know? Here's a. This is for men. You know, uh, you, you know, got the jump rope. Now, would, you, would I indicate my physical? I mean, for instance, I have nothing in my knees. I was a runner for years and years, so I have nothing. I cannot use this. Would you know that and therefore not send this to me? So that's a great question. Yeah. When customers sign up for Birchbox, they fill out a short profile. Okay. They tell us about 
their needs and preferences. So we're able to target the jump rope to someone who's really excited about using that jump rope. Well, that's an excellent. <laughs> Look, I think that this is one of the reasons why the, the mall's done not as well mm -hmm. is because there's things that are better than the mall yeah. and easier. We're personalizing, right? Yes, Instead more of personalizing. Store, this is we have right. hundreds of thousands of stores personalized to the customer. And that's what Howard Schultz says has to happen. Okay, that's Haley Barna and Katja Beecham. They're Birchbox's co-founders and co-CEOs. Once again, not bringing frivolous, just bringing companies to you. One day, you might want to buy their shares. Stay with Kramer.